Hi, it's Christian and welcome back to Murder and Fusion 360. And today I'm playing around a bit with Serpinski's triangles. Uh, or really Serpinski triangles look like because I will not do the fractal thing. I will just use something like looks like this. So I work the reverse direction basically. Uh, and the plan is to do this for 3D printing. So I have two ways to do it here. We're gonna talk about that because uh, if you look at it, if you just do the triangles and do circular patterns of these which are used, you can see that there is a small problem. Uh, the triangles are connecting in very, very thin edges which will not work that good when 3D painting. Let's kill this one. So I have two ways of thinking of this. I will show you both in the beginning and then I will just do the left one which I yeah, use a press pull to pull the face out a bit. And uh, you can also do draft, which I do here. The difference is really from the side, the drafted version maintains really sharp triangles on the top, while uh, the blue one here, which uses press pull, more makes a, yeah, a bit of different face. There's a taste. I'll, I think I like this one. This is most probably a bit 3D printed and standing on somewhere in my office. Also maybe this one. Uh, but anyway, let's get down to it. So we're going to start a new design. Sketch. We are starting everything from uh, uh, one dimension. So we're going to start by doing a polygon. We need a triangle to start. And this is going to be our, we're going to master triangle or the outside of everything. So we shall dimension one side. I'm going to make it uh, 120 millimeters to start off here. So that's our base shape and size. This is going to be our out, outer limit of the body. And we're going to start with some lines from midpoint. Let's find the midpoint of this triangle straight over. And we have found that one. We're going to make a line from here up to the side here and find the perpendicular constraint, which fusion so nicely as by itself. Second line, once again, perpendicular. And straight over, and let's see, we've done one, two, three, we're going to need a fourth one. Perpendicular and straight over. And by doing that, we have done our first sketch. Second sketch, we're going to need some axes for our circular patterns later. So, S key, and uh, intersect. And we're going to intersect the crossed line, not the straight one, straight over here. This one, one, two, three. Okie dokie, and we're going to do some lines from here, make sure they are horizontal, uh, vertical. And one more here, and a line, I hit the L on the keyboard to do lines. I mark all the top points and tell the, horizon, the, the fusion to make them horizontal, This means I only need to dimension one of them to get a fully constrained sketch. Let's make them 20. Let's check our sketches. They are both with the locks, so they are fully defined. We're gonna finish sketch. I check they are fully defined because if I do the parameters change later, if they're not fully de fully defined, this, things go bad. Let's do extrude E of a keyboard. This here, we're gonna make it eight millimeters. So now we need to decide if we're gonna do the press pull or the draft. I'm gonna do the press pull, so I'm gonna show you the draft version first. Uh, we find the draft command. Pull direction, top face, the face we want to move, of course, this face here. And you can see we can do it, you can do it both ways, but basically, we want to pull it slightly inwards, something like uh, I did 10 millimeters in my version. You can show select enough an, a, a different angle if you want to do that. That is how you can do if you want to draft it, or you can do you need to do it repetitive as I do with the press pull. Uh, same workflow is just if you want to do draft, you do this thing, you do a press pull, you do what I do. Console, we're gonna do a press pull. We hit Q on the keyboard, uh, this face, and we pull it out something like 0 0.3 millimeters. That should work good with my printer printer. And we do a circular pattern of bodies, this body around this axis. Three of them, thank you. We do a combine just to keep uh, the bodies count in a nice numbers we're gonna do a press pull again on this one zero point three minutes again we could do that as a parameter of course but i like to do things by hand sometimes like that this axis three times thank you combine uh, these here 
we do another project? This is very repetitive. Good meditation, but boring to watch, I think. Circular pattern. Bodies. Uh, that axis. Three times. Yes, please. Combine. Top body. This one. This one. Join. Yes. Uh, press pull once more. This face. 0 0.3 millimeter. Yes. Circular pattern. The last one. This body and the last one is going to be the center axis or the region axis here. Like that. And we do a final combine of all these. And we have what I will call a fourth, a fourth level Sierpinski triangle with some nice triangular shapes. And of course you can add appearance and what would you do or just send this to your 3D printer. Or maybe you want to do some fillets or stuff. Yeah, I just want to show you the basic shapes as normally as I do. Now you can take this and run with it. I hope you enjoyed it. Take care and see you around. Bye.